Hello, I'm going to explain you a little bit the game Downfall of the Third Reich. This is a game about the Second World War and um, you will see that it's easy to play, easy to learn. Um, I will going to play one turn with each of the of the sides, Germans, Soviets and Allies. And I made, uh, I set up the game. I will show you turn summer of 1941. Okay, you will see that this turn is, is uh, white, it's not blue. That means that uh, every side can use uh, air missions. You will see that in winter, it's signed with, with blue. That means that uh, in only in North Africa, our air missions are, are available, okay? So, the situation is the following. Previously, the Germans have started Barbarossa, just uh, attack uh, Soviet Union in a previous turn, in summer. Also, um, at the beginning of the game, in 1940, the Germans has conquered um, Low Countries and France, Okay, and in North Africa, if you see the situation, the, the Italians have joined the war in 1940 and the Germans have moved Deutschland and um, Africa Corps uh, army just to help the Italians in conquering uh, Suez against the British. Every player has already some um, some technologies you will see that it's very important in the game to develop technologies because once you develop technologies they will help you to conquer to combat and to do everything so the Germans has already three the technologies developed at this point of the game they have Blitzkrieg this technology allows the Germans to um, once they uh, attack, they can do an extra movement with with tanks. Okay, this is Blitzkrieg. Aviation that allows the player to build air missions and logistic that every time the the German player do a supply action, they allow him to increase the supply track the supply track by seven instead of five, which is the normal. So I'm going to start with the, the German turn. The game is about turns, so it deals with turns. In every turn, every player can do uh, several actions. At the beginning of the game, the Germans can do three actions, and both the Soviets, the Soviet Union and the Allies can do only two actions. But once the German start attacking uh, the Soviet Union, the Soviets, uh, the Russian player can do, can perform three actions instead of two. So at this point of the game, the Germans can do three actions, the same as the Soviet Union, three action, and United Kingdom, which is which playing alone, because USA still uh, uh, haven't joined the war, uh, United Kingdom can only do two actions. So. The German player starts with the first action. Let's start with the German turn. So at the start of the turn, because the they, because Italy has joined Axis, Italy is giving to the German player three supply points, one to three each turn. Okay. Now let's start with the the actions the German player do. First action will be the naval action build three submarines here. Players can choose from six different actions and the German player have exclusively this action to build three submarines. This, this is the first action. The second action the German player can do is, um, is going to do is to develop one technology. Each technology to be developed needs two steps and when a player do a developing action, they do one step. So the German player have had from previous turn 
uh, one step of one secret technology and the German player looks and develops completely this technology. So at this moment, the German player have four technologies completely developed. Okay, this is the second action. And uh, the third action would be supply, increase supply. Every time one player do supply, they increase the supply in five, that from four to nine. But because German player have the logistics technology, that means that it can increase up uh, to seven. So I add two more, have 11 points of supply to spend. Supply points doesn't need to be spent at the same turn they are built. So supply points can be spent later on. So German player have finished his actions and from now on they can do other things but not actions. Mostly uh, they can do two things. One is to move and to attack. And second thing is do the battle of the Atlantic. Those actions don't cost, uh, those things don't, don't cost action. So the Germans put two submarines in the Battle of the Atlantic and then he's ready to attack. Let's see. German player wants to attack in Trotheim to that British army. So I spend one marker here. Also want to make one attack in Riga, only one attack, when with one army. This army will not be attacking and both army here will attack that and this one will move and attack. And if we see North Africa, This army will attack and this will move and attack. Now let's count how many counters, how many move and attacks we do. And we must subtract from the supply points. That one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I should subtract seven from the supply, so from 11 to 4, okay? So let's start with the combat in Trondheim. <clears throat> the German player has played one air mission, so it would be 6 plus 2 against 4, that's 7 against 4, but there are mountains, so defender adds plus 1 to the die roll. So in total would be 7 against 5. German player rolls a 1, that's 8, against 6. 8 against 6, sorry, 7, because there is mountains. So the German, the Germans uh, beats British, that means that British lose two steps, 1 and 2, so all the army is eliminated, and because uh, the army who attacks don't doubles the other one, it flips. So every time there is a combat, the winner, if the winner doesn't doubles, the defender have to flip uh, this army. So let's go to the next attack in the Soviet Union. Here, only one army is activated and no air missions. No terrain bonus, it's in Riga, and the German decides to attack this army. See that in that area there are two armies, but uh, the attacker can only select one of them. In that case, the, the, the German selects this army as a target. So it's five against three. German, it's total seven. And the defender has also seven. That's a tie. In, in case of a tie, each side have one step loss. 
This is the final. See, it's important in this game, no matter if uh, who wins or who loses, the rest of the armies uh, don't retire. It keeps there. So both armies keeps there in any case. Those both armies. Let's see the third attack. In that case, I forget to move that army, sorry. The, that army is supposed to be moved here. And let's see how this works. I have to select one army as the main attacker. In that case, this army is the main attacker. And those both army will support this, this one. Okay? So, armies who support another one, at plus two, if the army is completely with uh, the whole force, and plus one, it is half it. This is whole force, and this is half. So in that case, Germans do six plus two plus one, six, eight, nine, against three. Nine against three, let's see final result. Six, six, seven, six, plus three, and five. In that case, the German doubles the defender because he's nine, 12 against five, doubles. So the attacker don't lose anything and the defender lose that army. And because at the end of the turn, there will be no armies here, the German must put one control marker here to show that German control this place. Let's go to the last attack of the German player. This will be seven plus two because this is the main attacker and this support. So remember that when you support, you add plus two to the die. So it's seven plus two, nine against four, but because the, there are mountains, it's a five. Seven, nine against five. German player, it's 12 against 5, doubles again, so the loser uh, eliminates one army and the winner don't flip anything because it doubles the defender. And because this is conquer, I must put one control here to show that the, the the Germans and the Italians have has conquered. Just one important thing, uh, when you attack, you can support if you have more armies than the enemy. So in the previous attack, there are two armies against one, so one army can support. But if the British had two armies here, it's two against two, no one can support, okay? This is a general rule. Okay. Now let's go with uh, the uh, Alice turn. The Alice, remember that the Germans has put here two submarines, and that means that uh, the Alice will have to reduce by one the number of actions he can do. So previously, um, he can do two actions, but because of that, they remove this and only can do one action. The action the Allied player decide to do is reinforcements. To do reinforcements, you can introduce, you can create new armies in your supply uh, areas, or you can update armies that have been reduced previously. In that case, the, uh, to do the reinforcements action, you can you have two points of reinforcements. That would be one point and two points, and that finish the action of the of the Alice player. No, uh, as he only have one action, he cannot do anything more. Now it's the last turn for the Soviet, for the Soviet Union. Because of Barbarossa, previously, um, the Soviet player can do three actions, and they decided to do 
as a first action, they decided to do a reinforcements. In the same way that the, the Allies had two reinforcements, the Soviet player can do eight reinforcements once Barbarossa is done. So in that case, eight points. So first point is this one, but because it's a tank, they need to spend one armor here. And the Soviet players, no armor left, so they, uh, he cannot build more, more armors in this turn, unless they build more uh, armors in the track. So this is the first point. Second point is that one. There are still six left points and because there are new units they should be created in the supply sources so that's one two there are four left i will put two more here and two more here so this is the the action of reinforcements the second action the Soviet player will do is to increase the armors in three, one, two, three. Maybe he could do this action before to create armors, but just to show you, every time you do the armor, increase the armor, you increase by three. And last action, the Soviet player will increase the supply in five because a uh, Soviet player didn't uh, develop the technology of logistics so maximum five up to seven and now he can move and attack using supply points what he's going to do is only move those three And because they put three mar mar makers here, the supply have to be reduced one, two, in three points. One per army he wants to move or attack. So the Soviet player can move these three armies, these three armies. Um, one thing I didn't explain you before is when you move one army, if it's an infantry army, you can move up to three areas. And if it was a tank, it can move up to four areas. In that case, I am going to move only three areas. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that's all. In this way, the Soviet player uh, finish his turn and all the three players have moved. You can see that a turn is quite easy, quite, quite simple to, to play, and only five actions to choose from, okay? I will explain you quickly uh, all those uh, actions. One action is to build uh, naval missions, only the German can do. That means to put three naval missions here. Second action is to build air missions, Remember that air missions can go to battles to add plus two to the dice, but when you use in battles, you spend, so you have to create again. The third mission is to create supply. Create supply, it's move up five, five spaces, unless you have the technology of logistic that you move seven. Fourth action is to develop technologies. There are, uh, mostly all the technologies are for, for each side, but few technologies are only uh, for one specific side. For example, the Allies have amphibious landing to disembark. Uh, only the Allies have this, this technology. So another thing you can do is to create armors this accumulates uh, uh, armor uh, points 
to be used later on to create armors on the map. And finally, last action you could do is to reinforce. When you reinforce, you create new units in your supply or you update already um, half units to each uh, entire site. Those are the five actions and more or less this is one turn off downfall of a range.